Hello, my name is Zim, and I'm going to do a hat cam unboxing of the Quest 3S. Now, I'm not very likely to kind of edit this stuff, but yeah, whatever. Snip it up. All right, let's make sure everything's good to go. Looks good, looks good. We ready? I think we're ready. Let's do this. Hat cam time. That is the MetaQuest 3S. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five things to look at. And we're gonna go ahead and just get, let's just get right into the Quest 3S then. Shall I move these things out? I think so. Yeah. All right, we'll put these to the side. Oh, that's kind of the obvious one, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. There she is. The Meta Quest 3S. All right. So, um, this comes with Batman Arkham Shadow. And it's a small little headset, very much like the Quest 3 that I have over there. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Only two pictures on the box, which is kind of surprising. All right, let's go. box. Oh! Two, two panels. Oh! They've done the Ray-Ban thing. Oh, that's cool. That is so smart. Like the self-destructing box. They did it with the Meta Ray-Bans. That is so smart. Let people just see the package like this. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Good job. Excellent job. <laughs> By the way, I got this thing from Meta. Uh, pro bono, as I'm part of the MetaQuest Creator Club. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? This is the usual stuff. I don't think that was supposed to be open. Maybe it was. Uh, what do we got? Accessories, safety guide, start here. Probably need to scan that with your phone. Now we've got head strap adjustments, volume buttons. Meta Quest Touch Controllers, Headset, cool. And then of course we've got the glasses spacer, so you don't want to scratch the lenses. That's the purpose of that. You can lens space by moving left or right, just like in the Quest 2. And please make sure, don't expose them to direct sunlight, because you'll burn. This really matters a lot, actually. Okay, battery cover looks like what we've seen before. That's your warranty. That's your Japanese health assessment. Okay, I think we're done with all of this. So, all right, now we get into Quest 3S. I love this kind of box, but you know what also does? It's like, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It actually comes because people were using the box as, as, a, as, a, as a container for carrying it around. They're like, no, you have a dock now. Beautiful dock. Now the question is, yep, you got access to the charging port even with this like dock arrangement. That's smart. That's really cool. Wow, okay. That is smart box design and then it prevents people from like carrying it from place to place. So at the same time, you're giving them a gift because you're like, you can display your quest now and you can store it this way and it'll be safe here and you can be ready to play straight away. Uh, but at the same time, you no longer have a carrying case. And so now you have a need for this thing. You're like, oh, you need transport. Transport case, bike transport. Very smart. Cross sell your products. Great job, great job. Okay, so then with that, here's the controllers. Zip, zip. Very nice. Okay, that's kind of what I was expecting anyway in terms of the controllers, that just looks like, they really just look like Quest 2 controllers actually. No, wait, hang on, they look like Quest 3 controllers. 
Yeah, because they've got this lock tab. So then this you pull out and you're like, stick that in there. Hyper, hey bright, alkaline. Now I normally take these straps out just because I don't, I don't really use them. Um, leave them on for the purposes of this. So that, just pull that out. Okay, so those are both active. A little bit of factory dust. Okay. And then the headset. There she is. Oof. It's nice having my own. Such a nice little headset. Really, really just cute. Got the action button there. I like the action button a lot. Hmm. Nice sidebar, a little bit more of a pattern to the strap now. That will get dirty and need cleaning. And then of course you've got this little friend. Get your custom Zenny prescription inserts. So there's glasses inserts and that's the glasses spacer. Now, I don't know where the spacer actually is. Oh, there it is. There's the spacer and then there's a cable. In there as well so like straight away you're able to just chuck that in there right and then you still have these so you've got your headset all ready to go these they're getting really smart with this packaging and this is a cable so there's your headset spacer if you have glasses i don't use mine with glasses and then of course your charger and this is like Straight away lifts up, boop, that's cute. A cardboard lifter is a little premium. Peel that off, beautiful. Now there's still plastic around somewhere here. So this is all pretty cool because it's a brand new headset. And then I've got this. I like this a lot, this is cool. And it's just paper actually, but it looks Really rad. Neat. Okay. Okay. So that's my tray. You'd want to keep that. But it's cardboard, so you could just you could just chuck it. But what a nice little duck. Cool. Alright, headset time. Now. Now, my friends. No no no. Now we get into the headset itself right so let's first first of all take these off no water oh it's gorgeous at the start isn't it always prettiest at the beginning then you got these sidebar audio you've got these straps which do a little bit of a a dance Nice looking product. Cameras, cameras, cameras. Now, one of the things I noticed before was that heat comes out of this ridge. It's like how they pipe the temperature out. Okay, very cool. That's neat. Okay. With me pretending to put it on. All right, that's that unboxed. That's a headset. We'll get back to that in a minute. But now let's try accessories. 
Let's try the case. Okay, so it's pretty slim as cases go. Not a quest clearing case. I'm not very good at this. Let's try it. That's there. Let's go see if we can carry it. That's still sustainable. Compact carrying case. Quest 3S. Okay. Okay. Zipper was easy. Ooh, nice. Phone. What's that about? Oh. That's an odd mechanism. Huh. That's really bizarre. So it's like, that's weird. Like opens and shut, it like pops. That's a cool compartment. I like that. All right, you go left and right. So we go left and right. How do they work? How do they work? That's funny. Just like that. Okay. Charging cable. Okay. So this is how this is supposed to work. Okay. There you go. Let's see if we can do with this. Wrap that up. Pop it up. Chatting that in there. Like that. Okay. Let's check these. Ah, maybe. It goes in there. Left. Goes in there. Right. Headset goes here. Fan thing goes here. Also free. Well, that is very compact and cute. That's great. That's very cool. So if you want to take it places, that's your take. Travel around the world. Quest is finally coming back with me around the world. That is awesome. Small, compact. Uh, you are my packing buddy now, my, my, my friend. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. That really fits great. That, that worked so well. Wow, I'm really impressed with that. Smart design, man. Smart bloody design. Cool. Okay, that's the charging case. I think that is a win. Leave the power cable in there. Okay. Back to the side. All right. All righty. Next up, the breathable facial interface for this guy. It's basically a mesh facial interface instead of this one. And so this should be pretty easy to open. Again, the old two-sided tab thing. Stops the thing from falling out. Yep, that's cool. Light and breathable. Pretty cool. Now, you can see how that mesh looks. Totally see-through, basically. Alright, and then this lifts up with ease. 
That's a little meta logo embossed there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Warranty info. Don't imagine I'd be using that box again. Okay. So. Oh. It's like a silicone. That's a little disappointing that that's like a silicone siding. That is not what I was hoping that would be. It's squishy. It's lightweight. I guess this would be for exercise purposes then. So it would go just onto your face, but it is definitely a non-porous material, which means you will sweat. And on the back side of it, now the thing that's different about the Quest 3S is the clips and the facial interface is different. So you got to be careful about that now. It's not everything is compatible. All right, that's cool. You can see how that looks. All right, I'm gonna put that there. I'll show you how to take this off. We're taking the facial interface, the existing facial interface off of the MetaQuest 3 uh, is easy. The two, it's easy. And we'll see if the three S is easy. It should just be a pop off. Just apply a little bit of pressure out this way and it comes away. So initially you think, feel like you're gonna break the headset. So generally start at the top where it's stronger. Yeah, there you go. It's popped out. And it's got three clips, I think. It's here, here, and here. There you go. Okay, so it looks like it's just the two. It's just a pressure fitting. So there's the original. And you can see this one is quite a bit different, right? So this one is like a cloth padding. I actually prefer these because they breathe. You can wash them. Just throw this thing in the, this whole assembly in the wash and on a low temperature or something or scrub it with, with liquid is usually the way I do it. And that works out well. Cool. All right, so that's, that's what we're replacing. Go ahead and head over to this one. Now you can see the whole body of the Quest 3S definitely reminds me of it's like a it's like a reframed there you go it's a reframed version of like Quest 2 notice how they don't move independent of one another I think I'm a middle the two okay and then this should just be a push fit nice and easy like this clip clip clippity clip this one has less Oh, that's interesting. Like, click, 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 click. Now, that's like, it's got like a bounce to it. Interesting. Okay. So, very nice. Ends up, <laughs> <coughs> ends up with your Quest 3S looking a bit more gray. And again, you can see through the body of it. Very clean looking, almost looks like a, a new version of an Oculus Go or something. Really cool. Have those little side cameras. I got eight cameras, huh? Wow. Okay, this thing you can hold it by that and it doesn't fall. Easy, bang, on, okay. Cool. I'll put that to the side for now. Okay. So there's your Quest 3 S in terms of its new kind of look and feel. Pretty nice looking. Got that nice kind of pattern to it. Okay. Lovely. Looks great. That pattern is, is very sleek, very well, very well designed and should be better in exercise games. Definitely better in exercise games. Okay. Next up. What else have we got? Let's go charging dock. Okay. Move this baby out of the way and we'll go for the charging dock. So here's the charging dock. This is a compact charging dock. Okay. And the whole purpose of this is to charge both the controllers and at the same time, charge the headset. 
And the headset cable just comes off and it's like a loose thing, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Now it does come with two batteries. These batteries are like small milliamp hour, small capacity. But they go in here, they replace your, your non-rechargeable battery and then they get charged in the dock. Just like, just like the Quest 3. See, charging, charging, charging. Now this dock was very expensive. And so this one is, I think it's about half the price. So that's nice that you've got something that's just able to be picked up and it's cute and small and portable. And this is really gonna appeal, I think in particular, like a sporty lady who's like, ooh, I just wanna you know, get up and do some, some Supernatural or some Beat Saber or something in the morning. It's like, damn, this, this is just such an easy value proposition now. Super, super easy. All right, there you go. There's your MetaQuest charging case. Pop it up. How's it presenting? Okay, so this is saying one to power, one to headset, right? Now, if I pull this little brick out, what is that? That's your, that's your, that's your friend. How do I get that out? Ah, there we go. Maybe like this. Let's open that. Okay, so this is your batteries. This is your cable. So pop goes the weasel. There you go. There's one. That's for the headset. That just goes here. Yep. And then it says, welcome to the compact charging dock in the safety guide. So again, more stuff. Let's see what it says. This is talking about the charging dock, the batteries, how to insert them, cabling this, connecting it to power. Like need a headset. Easy enough. Okay. Now that's important. This is your warning messages. Also lets you know how it, when it's working. Okay. Now here's your batteries. Get rid of that. They're just they're kind of funny because like they're a specialty battery, you see? They're not like a normal battery. They're very specific to the headset. You can't use those in other things. That's why they're a funny thin shape. Huh? So that's what those are. Now we've got the dock itself. Nice little dock. A little metal logo. Headset. And then power. I suppose one of these comes in, it says headset. There you go. Connect that in. It goes like that. Makes that easy. And then the other side. That's long enough, isn't it? How long is that? That looks, that looks proper long. Okay, that goes off to your wall or whatever. It goes down here. Put that in. That is cute. That is really cute. That's nice. Okay. Are those like a little press fitting down here. here. This connects to power. Um, do we have anything that's powered? That's it. Now, question is, does it work with the dock? So, once we've got these all sorted and replaced or whatever, so these are easy. You just come in here, pop that off, right? Take your hyper bright batteries. Take those out. And that's your left. Your left hand. Goes in there. And then just close it like that. Okay. Here, right side. And just check those there. Now, 
this is here. Will this still work? It does. See that? Somebody's thought about this. You got your headset, you got your controllers, you got your wall power. That goes to your wall. Cool. That looks nice. Okay, last thing. The MX Ink Combo. This is for three, three S and the two. And this is a stylus for the Quest. No. All right. Okay. This is a Logitech thing in the jigger. It's like a charger of some kind. And oh. not to keep product boxes anymore. I think I will probably be getting rid of this. Okay. Well, I'll read that. Oh, that's the dock, of course. The charging dock. A little bit of paper. And very inviting. Sexy. And don't get those little nubs. And this can charge. This says charge the device. get stored is the question. Some of those are a little different stylus tips. Stylus nubs. That is tiny. I can be able to see that. Really meta headset. Open the Horizon app. Under headset, top controllers, pair new controller, pair stylus. Rear button for four seconds. going to be charge icon somewhere here. Let's see where the charge icon is, but you have different stylus nubs here. Well, that is very nice in the hand. Hmm. It's not a tech. Cool. Well, that's us done with the unboxing. And uh, now it's time to check it out and try it. Looks like the hat cam giving me a bit of a ring. I'm ready. 
designed for privacy. By default, Meta collects data. Of course they do. Go right ahead. Share additional data to improve Meta Horizon. All right. I'm part of the Meta Quest Creator Program, so of course I'm going to share all of my data. Open your bank accounts. Give them your children. Sacrifice the firstborn. Your device uses hand and body tracking. Don't take your shorts off. Otherwise, Meta might think you have a third arm. If you're well in doubt. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. 